Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show off a uh, different kind of uh, filtering system. It's an audio processing system, but it's, uh, it's also a glitch box at the same time. It's called the, uh, the DRS, or the Deep Reglitch System. And uh, the way it works is you can turn on your sound here. We have a sound source. Um, you, this could be any sound source you want. Um, just load this up with uh, whatever goodies you have. And if anything in your sound arsenal, make sure that these CVs are in place. Um, and away you go. And you can go down, you can start panning your, your signal. Okay, you have a global pan rate here. You can apply some different waveforms to your signal. Okay, you can turn off your panning here. Um, these other two knobs, um, this will give you a panning signal after it hits the, the rebeater, and this will give you a panning signal after the, uh, the sound source goes into the, what I call the verbrillium effect. Um, this whole device is made up of two main effects. One is called uh, the rebeat, and uh, that's located here. There's uh, four different devices along with the main sequencer up here. And then there's uh, four different um, rebeats that you can use, and then it goes into the verbrillium, and then it goes into the filter and a comp compression and an EQ. So uh, let's just go through it. Um, over here, you can turn on a filter. So you've got a format filter, tone filter, state variable set to high pass, and an LP filter. You can control the drive over here. You can control the envelope. You can invert your envelope. You can control your frequency, resonance. You can put a delay on, or put a chorus on it, or you can bypass it altogether. Um, next up, we have the auto rebeat, and uh, like I said, there's four different, there's an A, a B, a C, and a D for the rebeat. You can enable each one here, you can enable A, you can enable B, you can enable C, and you can enable D. So you can have them all going at the same time, or you can have only one going at any given time. This controls your high-low crossover. This controls your one and two crossover. This controls your two and your three and four crossover. And this controls whether you want the signal to be mono or to be widened. It's a global um, global parameter adjustment. So once you have that enabled, we have uh, the B enabled right now. So you go down to your B unit. You can change the number of steps. Change the curve. Change the feedback. Turn the feedback sequencer on. Increase the dry wet signal. Change from millisecond to steps. One sixteenth to one eighth. And you can also increase the rate amount. Okay, so basically you can mangle up your sound. And you can have a lot of fun with this. Also turn on your filter. Or you can disable any part of it. Or you can disable the whole thing. Okay, so once we've done that, we can go down to the Verbrillium. And this is a verb unit, a reverb unit. 
but it also gives you some damage, um, randomized things, and it's just best to kind of try out the different parameters just to see what you can do with it. Turn on the body of the screen unit. Increase the randomization. Also increase the EQ cutting. Oh, that's right, the cut has to be on in order for this to take effect. So once that's on, you've got the different rubrillium units. There's uh, four in total. And uh, they all have the same parameters for the most part. Um, well, some of them do. These, these are the crossover, the EQ crossovers for all of them. And then uh, over here, you've got the dry wet. Um, but we'll just kind of go through them. This is your modulation one, low cut, mod two. Bypass your EQ if you want. And this is where you really can get into your reverbs. This creates your dry, wet reverb. You can increase your modulation amount. Increase your rate. And change the algorithms of your reverb. Uh, you have one verb algorithm which goes to your, your reverbs going to your low, and then the other one's going to the high. The high end. You can change the sequencer, or you can change the random algorithm. Off. And then you can increase your delay of it. That's the Virbrillium unit. And then again, once again, you have another filter unit, which does the same as the other filter, so I'm not gonna go into it now. But basically it affects your signal after it goes through the Virbrillium. And then finally we have a compression and EQ system here. Turn them on over here, turn the EQ on and the compression. Then you can adjust your threshold, ratio, your attack, and your release. You also have a soft clip, low cut, and you have a gain parameter. So you can increase the signal or decrease the signal. The gain parameter is only effective if you have the compression on. That's my system, and uh, it will be available when I uh, release the refill, my next refill on August 1st. I hope you come and join me at reason101.net where you can find more systems like this and uh, more tutorials along the way. Thanks a lot for listening, and uh, happy reasoning.